We are in the beginning of a mass extinction, and all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you? For more than 30 years, the science has been crystal clear. How dare you continue to look away and come here saying that you're doing enough when the politics and solutions needed are still nowhere in sight. You say you hear us and that you understand the urgency. But no matter how sad and angry I am, I do not want to believe that. Because if you really understood the situation and still kept on failing to act, then you would be evil, and that I refuse to believe. Guess who's back, everyone? Check it out. Now the 17-year-old climate activist Greta Thunberg endorses Joe Biden. Check out this video really quick before I get into this article. Please, where are we living now? I, I feel like we are in a different dimension or a whole different world. This world has gone mad. Check out all these young adults, children, whatever you want to call it, and just, just watch this. always to to try to affect uh, to have an impact on the on the level of awareness and the public opinion so that people will start becoming more aware of the climate crisis um, so that we build up this pressure on people in power so that yeah something happens I'm sorry, but it was it's it's hard not to laugh. I mean, that's what they're doing. That's what they're spending their time doing. You know, I wish that I had everything just fine and didn't have to worry about providing for my family or, you know, you, just like you providing for your family, that we could just go and float around on icebergs and, you know... <laughs> Oh man, it's just, uh, it's crazy, right? You know, and now check this out, right? So she endorses Joe Biden. So she's back, you know, this is from yesterday. Here she is again. Oh, it says, Greta Thunberg, the teen activist from Sweden who made waves for urging world leaders to take climate change seriously, endorsed former Vice President Joe Biden Saturday. Just get organized and get everyone to vote Biden. Thunberg said on Twitter. There are just weeks to go before the November presidential election and the Biden campaign has positioned itself against President Donald Trump on the issue of climate change. Yeah, the, the BS lying issue of climate change. 
The Biden campaign said it wants to reverse one of Trump's biggest decision, pulling out of the Paris Climate Agreement. Yes, they've been trying to say that since the beginning. I mean, I'm so sick of hearing about it. Oh, it says... She endorsed President Joe Biden on Saturday, asking her Twitter followers to cast a vote for him in the upcoming November election. I never engage in party politics. Yes, you did. You've been doing it since the very beginning. But the upcoming U.S. election is above and beyond all that, Thunberg tweeted, along with an editorial from the Scientific American urging people to avoid voting for Donald President Trump. Just get organized and get everyone to vote. Hashtag Biden. You know, look at her. Here's her little, you know, her little uh, tweet. It's just, it, it's really, really pathetic. It is. I mean, look. Oh, but I mean, you know, damn. Look at yeah. That's yeah. That's what they need to be following. Yeah, she's such a great role model, right? You know, and she's already been called out. She's already been found to be driving, you know, fossil fuel vehicles. And I mean, they they saw her in her car. They've done all like. It's all a setup. It's all a stage, right? The world is a stage. Well, here's one of their greatest little, you know, you know, young adult actor, actress. Says a 17-year-old is an activist from Sweden who made headlines for leading climate strikes across the country. She also interrogated, interrogated large organizations and groups like the United Nations and the U.S. Congress on climate change policy and is regarded as the face of the youth climate movement. When do these people realize, when will these children and these young adults realize that they're being used every single time they're just being used? I mean, literally, did you saw them standing there doing their little protests, doing all of that, and they're just being used. It's sad. It really is sad. So she was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize in 2019, and her efforts landed her recognition as Time's Person of the Year, <laughs> which drew Trump, Trump's Iris says, so ridiculous, Trump tweeted in response to the news. Greta must work on her anger management problem, then go to a good old-fashioned movie with a friend. Chill, Greta, chill. It's kind of funny, sorry. <laughs> it is, it is. I mean, she's just ridiculous. You know, it just, um, you know, I I'm going to end it here. I don't want to spend a ton of time on a topic that I do not believe. Of course, there is climate change. There is, the, the world has always gone you know, in changes up and down, nothing, you know, it's not you and I, it's not because we eat meat and because cows are farting or because you and I talk too much, you know, those, those are just all complete lies. And it's very frustrating to seriously hearing it, you know, on a daily basis. Now you're even seeing these commercials talking about how climate change is now the number one threat to the world. You know, it's like, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Right. It's just, it, it's so obvious how, um, these young adults can be led and deceived and um, it, it just shows the state of our, our world right now you know it's it's very easy to convince all these these people to just do what they want to get in the line they want them to be in, to follow the agenda that they want to be in and the, you know these people like Greta cannot you know <laughs> obviously back up enough to see how big the picture is now she might because she's probably in on the entire thing which would make make sense but these other children and young adults that go out and protest and you know do everything that they do out here thinking they're doing something good that's the sad part is they're that deceived that they they truly believe most of them that they're just out there trying to protect their lives uh when they are not fighting at all for how about every right we're getting taken away from us uh, yeah, you you can push your climate change. That's the biggest. That's the biggest threat, right? That's what you're saying right now to the world. Well, uh, it's okay because you won't be able to leave your home. You won't be able to do anything if you don't do everything that these governments say. You know, if you don't take this vax, if you don't take, you know, if you don't listen to everything that we tell you to do, if you don't allow us to track and trace your every movement, then you will have nothing. You will be trapped in your own home or put into some type of a quarantine facility or FEMA camp or whatever you want to call it. And they're out here worried about, you know, oh, the world is dying. Uh, you're not going to make it another five years if you don't open up your eyes. You know, but the deception is huge. You know, we talk about that. You know, we always think, how can this be possible? How can people still fall for like this CB, you know, this lie? And it just shows that how, you know, deceptive evil is, right? I mean, it, it truly is 
Um, it's mind-boggling how how much they are able to, you know, deceive these people. And uh, all we can do is keep sharing these stories, talking to our friends, talking to our family. Like I always say, you know, maybe we can stop one more person from falling for her, you know, her antics. Because that's all they are. They're just, you know, oh, look at me, look at me. You know, so, uh, but we'll end it here. Everybody stay strong, stay safe, continue to pray. Please pray against all this. Because as you can see, another story that shows... We have another, you know, angle that where we're being attacked at, you know, you just, it's, it's not like you just have them head on. You have them on both sides coming from behind you, you know, and that's why I always talk about my faith because my faith gives me that protection, you know, it gives me the full armor of God where I can be protected on all sides because I'm being attacked on all sides. So everybody, you have a great day. We will talk to you real soon. God bless.